It was a much younger, youthful, um, new type of buyer that's coming out of China, for sure, in a way that we're not really seeing in the West. In the early days, um, all of our buyers were European or American or Japanese, primarily. It's when I started in the Chinese department um, in London, I uh, actually joined the department in 1984. Um, in those days, we didn't have any mainland Chinese buyers. We knew nobody from the mainland. It was, a, it was, um, it was very much a reflection of the history of Chinese art in Europe. Um, the British have always loved Chinese ceramics and Chinese works of art. We've been collectors for hundreds of years. Americans have been collecting Chinese art for well, certainly a hundred years, if not more. And um, yeah, what, what started as a, a purely European sort of market has now completely changed to a very Sinocentric uh, marketplace. And, so, and that's happened very quickly over what the last 10 or 15 years, I suppose. The market's still in its infancy in many ways now. Uh, although it's a, it's a, it has a long tradition here, it has changed so dramatically in the last 10 years uh, that we're still trying to figure our way around. I think our biggest issue now is to try and find the new buyer. The more elderly folk that collect, have collected, historically collected Chinese art, not youngsters. Certainly with the influx of the mainland Chinese, the age has definitely dropped. It's been a delight having the Chinese um, come to the West to buy because it is a younger group. It, they're much more excited by it and um, in, in, a, in the way that Western youngsters are not, they seem to want to buy contemporary art. They want to own a Liechtenstein or a Jasper Johns or whatever it is, a print of a Andy Warhol. They're not really looking for a Qianlong, you know, a white jade, an owl or, or uh, a beautiful piece of ceramic from the Song Dynasty, a lovely quiet piece of Jun. But the young Chinese do. So they understand intrinsically what it was the potters were trying to do in a way that I think in the West less so. So there's no question that the youngest buyers um, are, the, are the Chinese at the moment. There's no question. And so that's a really fantastic sign because you want you want it, the, the market to continue, not to die off. And I sell a lot to, uh, to the Chinese trade because um, this is a, a great market for them. Please click here and subscribe. Thank you.